Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and today I wanted to go over a bit of basic scripting, specifically with MEL. If you don't know what MEL stands for, M-E-L, it stands for Maya Embedded Language. One of the things that artists think is that they can't do any type of scripting, and the reality is is that you can, especially if it's something that you do over and over and over again. So when we're modeling, for example, we have a tendency to create something and then move it around and then go to edit delete by type history and then we go to modify freeze transformations and if we made any type of changes we always want to go to center the pivot so we end up doing that a great deal these are the three steps that we have a tendency to continuously do which is edit delete by type history modify freeze transformation and center the pivot what I wanted to show you was that we can quickly create a script that will make this process go a lot faster alright so let's go ahead and get started uh, over here on the right we're gonna go to our script editor you can see that our script editor has a mel and a Python we're gonna be using mel what we're doing is called procedural scripting which means that it just goes by command 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 for example let's say I want to build a sphere if I type in sphere notice that it turned blue and it got italicized that means that Maya recognizes it I'm going to put in a semicolon which means that that is the end of my command I'm going to do control a which means select all and then control enter and you're gonna see that it creates a NURB sphere just wanted to demonstrate to you that up here at the top make a NURB sphere so that's the result so that's how easy mail scripting is so let's say for example I want to et delete my history let's go ahead and grab this plane notice that it selected it edit delete by type history notice that you don't see any type of command so what we need is what's called an echo command which means that under history there's an echo all commands which says I actually want you to show me every move that I make and now we can go to edit delete by type history right here you're gonna see that there's a command called delete history I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and I'm going to paste it and it recognizes it. Now you can type it in yourself, but I'm a person that spells things wrong a lot, so. All right, so that's our first line. Whoops, you see how I just press enter and it makes it disappear. So I'm gonna undo, do a shift enter, and that take me to the second line. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is go to modify freeze transformations. And you can see right here, there's some freeze transformations. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that, paste that in, shift enter to the next line. Finally, I'm going to go to modify center pivot. There it is, center pivot, control C, control V. There we go. So let's see if this actually worked. Here's an item. It's got history, it's got uh, transformations, and here is the pivot. So we're going to do a control A, control enter, and there you go. Just like that, you have delete history, free shift transformations, and center the pivot. Awesome. Now, of course, we don't really want to go through every single time we want to do this we have to go into the script editor. So instead what we're gonna do is make a button. Amaya is actually set up for this. So let's go to custom and custom is where you can create your own buttons. It's really pretty easy. You just select this, then I'm gonna middle mouse and drag this text into my custom bar up here, let it go. And right here is gonna have a new icon. So I'm gonna close this. Let me show you that it actually still works. When I select this piece of geometry, you can see that it's got some history. You can see that it's got information on translate and scale. And I click on that and right away everything changes. So this is the code. So I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to go to edit. Under command, it shows you that you can make some changes if you want to to the command. It's not written in stone. You can always alter it if you want to. I'm going to go to shelves and shelves has information about your button. For example, let's say that I want to go ahead and do an icon label. Say I'm going to call this CMND, which stands for command. Go over here. And right away you can see that it says CMND. Now it does have limitations. You can only put in about four, four uh, letters, so keep that in mind. Other things you can do to make this a little bit more unique is change the text. Let's say you want to change it to light blue. Uh, you can change the background. So let's say you want to change that to something crazy like red or not. It's up to you what you want to do. You can also choose a custom background. So if you want to make it stand out a little bit more or you can do whatever you like. And you can create your own icon. If you click on this little folder, you're going to see that it's going to look for some icons under C, Admin, Documents, Maya, 2017, Preference, and Icons. So if you wanted to create your own button, you can. So I'll show you how to make one. Let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. And this is going to be a tiny little button. It's going to be a custom and it's going to be 52 by 52. Yes, it is a tiny little button. I'm going to go ahead and maybe fill this in with some sort of color personally like blue so I'm gonna go for blue maybe I wanna have a shadow go down 
make it a little darker so it's a little bit more noticeable maybe a little bit more angled there you go and let's say I want to call this CMD and I can go crazy with this but it's up to you what you, what else you want to do maybe use a color overlay and uh, change the color if I'm happy with that let's go ahead and flatten the images Control shift s and now we're gonna go to my documents my uh, 2017 preferences icons this is gonna be my command let's go back into Maya I'm gonna go over here there it is and just like that I want to delete this Boop. And there you go. So now if I have any type of information, icons over here, you can always click on this command and it will quickly remove the history, freeze the transformations, center the pivot. And by the way, don't be limited. You can always select all these pieces and press that magical button and automatically it will center the pivot, delete the history and freeze the transformations. All right, that is scripting 101, very simple, very fast. You can create your own custom bar. You can create your own custom scripts. You can create your own custom icon, and you can do all sorts of things with this. Uh, again, this will save you about five seconds, but if we use this, we use this all the time when we're creating models, when we're rigging or anything, so this is going to save you tons of time in the long run. I definitely encourage you to explore Mel. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, uh, tell me what you think. What would you like to see more? Do you want to see more modeling? Do you want to see more texturing, lighting, rigging? Let me know. Share my videos with your friends. All right, and I will see you next time.